tubes and I'm I want to take this opportunity to learn how to cut these on the table saw I've never cut coves on the table saw so uh, this is me wanting to learn to do that but before we can get to that we need to do a couple of things uh, what I'm doing here is referencing uh, or making some reference marks where the cabinet is sitting on um, well this is actually the top it's just upside down so we want about an inch and a half overhang so we're making some marks make sure we've got enough overhang on both sides uh, before we cut each end off to its final length now but before we can do that we need to take this over to the joiner to get a nice clean edge um, and so the reason we want a nice straight flat edge if you will is so we can reference this off of the table saw fence so when we go to rip this um, the blade we're gonna have a nice clean cut uh, from the table saw and the joiner gave us a nice clean edge on the other side so we've got our top and bottom pieces cut to the final width and so from here we can take these two pieces over to the miter saw and with our reference marks we can strike a line and cut these to their final length Now this is a part of the project where we need to set up the table saw to cut the coves. Um, the blue crayon is going to indicate the center of the blade which is more likely going to be the arbor so that's going to be the center and so we strike a line across the center and next we need to figure out where the blade is going to start cutting and so we determine that and then strike another line. So we've got two lines, we've got the center and we've got where the blade is going to start cutting the wood so from the center of the blade we're going to reference the fence this piece of wood is indicating the fence and we're going to shoot for about three quarters of an inch so from the fence to the opposite side of the blade we take our, our tape measure ruler whatever and measure over three quarters of an inch from the blade from the fence to the opposite side of the blade should be three quarters of an inch that's going to give us our run in our cove so when we determine that angle we strike another line and so now we've created this triangle right here between the fence and the blade that's going to be the angle that we're going to cut so now we can use those lines to take our fence Now this can be any board uh, we just make sure make sure you have a nice clean edge on the uh, blade side of the fence so we'll have something to reference off of but we're going to clamp this down to the table and then we'll raise the blade up incrementally one eighth of an inch at a time after each pass until we get to our half inch rise so now that we've got the table saw fence set up for our coves we want to run a test piece to make sure we get the cove that we're looking for and as you can see it's not exactly what we want so you can see the the mark on the wood and that's what kind of what we're looking for uh, so we're going to keep the same rise which is half an inch but we just need to create more of a run so we need to create more distance between our fence and the opposite side of the blade you're going to create more of an angle so we're going to just increase that by loosening the clamps up and we're going to bump the fence over until we get what we want so now that we've done that we've got the cove that we're looking for as you can see um, it more it lines up more with, with our line but keep in mind the more that you push the fence at the same angle away from the front of the table saw more of a flat spot you're going to get on the front of the cove okay so now that we're set up we can take our pieces and now we can cut our coves um, this is actually my first time to do this and really and truly it was nothing to it once you get set up with your fence it's just a matter of running the pieces that you want the cove in um, over the blade and each time you make a pass raise the blade up about eighth of an inch and run it the piece over the blade again uh, until you get to the desired height now we uh, decided we want a half inch rise and so that's we made a mark on the end of our board so that's how we knew where to stop and so I, I'm glad I did this because uh, I don't know why it, it intimidated me uh, but it really was nothing to it I think the main thing that you need to know is just to keep your fence steady make sure it's clamped down and secure because if the fence moves while you're doing this then you're just asking for trouble for me this was a really good experience and so I just want to say thanks to Jay for helping me through this process 
so now I can say I've cut coves on the table saw and I might even try to incorporate something like this into some future projects but I just also want to say thank you for watching the video and if you liked it there's a link down in the description that will take you to my website where I've written an article on my experience and what I learned so check that out if you will if you like it please share it and also while you're there at the website sign up for our newsletter so you can stay up to date with what we got going on so thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time